When well, a set of axes below triangle ABC has vertices A, B, and C as denoted there, and triangle DEF has vertices denoted by that. Uh, which sequence of transformations will map ABC onto DEF? So ABC onto DEF. ABC on to DEF. So the orientation uh, of ABC definitely has changed. So there definitely should be some kind of a um, some kind of a rotation uh, involved. And after a rotation, uh, there should be some kind of a dilation. So looking at this, it looks like if we rotate it about this point here, because I want to get A, um, or actually, if I rotate all of these points over the origin, A would end up over here, and uh, C would end up over here, let me see, and B would end up over here, let me see, two, four, so it's this right there. So this would be A prime, this would be B prime, and this would be C prime. See that? If I rotate triangle ABC over the origin, I would end up with um, that orientation. And then it looks like it's going to be a dilation of two, right? So, and how do I know that? Well, that's because uh, going from C prime to F, because C prime uh, it corresponds with F, uh, it looks like I am moving the same amount of distance over and down as I did from the origin there, right? All of these looks like it's going to be a doubling, right? It's going to be a dilation of two. Actually, I'm going to draw this in a, another color so it can stand out a little more. So if I, again, dilate from the origin, right? You can see that going from B prime to E, we go over two and up four, over two and up four. And then going from C prime to F, we go over four and down two go over four and down two, right? That's a dilation of two. And then A prime to D, go over two and, over, and then over two again. So we're looking for a rotation over the origin of 180 degrees, and then a dilation of two, again, over the origin. So that looks like it's going to be uh, it looks like it's going to be three. No, no, no. A dilation of two, uh, followed by a rotation of 180 degrees. Uh, you know, does the order matter? The order in which we, um, we do things actually doesn't matter. We can actually rotate and dilate and dilate then rotate and it actually doesn't cause any changes and if you um if you don't believe that i encourage you actually to try and test that out on your own uh to take triangle abc right before we rotate before you rotate to um to try and to t try and dilate it and then after you dilate it and then rotate it and see if you actually end up in the same place but it, it doesn't matter